Welcome back and thank you for staying with Checkpoint. Now, a group of pioneer female Maasai rangers in the Amboseli National Park are using soft power to track poachers and wildlife as well. This coupled with intelligence gathering prowess has earned them respect and accolades from locals as they achieve feat after feat in local conservation. Here's Trick Singado with the story of Team Lioness. When one thinks about conservation effort, protecting Africa's wild and the fight against poachers in the African wild, borderline militant strategies come to mind. An apt impression given the rough terrain of Africa's wild, dangerously armed poachers as well as the massive economic and heritage loss brought on by illegal poaching. A study by the University of Vermont puts the average loss incurred through elephant poachers alone at $25 million in lost tourism revenue per year. This is owing to the loss between 20,000 and 30,000 African elephants killed for their ivory tasks that are traded through a complex global system of organized crime with its roots in Asia. There is also collateral damage to the environment and local communities. Fueled by poverty, poaching has been determined to accelerate false local economies, deplete natural resources, spread diseases such as SARS, bird flu, monkeypox, etc., depletion of wildlife populations, and habitat destruction. This is Amboseli National Park, situated in southern Kenya and home to Kenya's largest elephant herds. The park has not been spared the ravages of poaching, something that was not lost on the local Maasai community that share this habitat. The Ma community has shared this ecosystem with the wildlife for centuries, so naturally the team tasked to handle the menace would be from the same community. Meet the Lionesses Rangers, a group of 16 professionally trained rangers who are having unprecedented success at tracking wildlife and getting key intelligence from local communities using uncanny, never-before-used methods, intel that helps nab poachers. <laughs> The Maasai community is a traditionally patriarchal society making the existence of team lionesses an anomaly that is working for conservation efforts. Mimi kuwa driver, ni mimi ndio msichana wa kwanza katika Mbuseli ecosystem kukuwa driver. Lakini kitu ilinifanya ili ni motivate ni kuwa driver kulikuwa na incident fulani tumeshaienda cross border and then kulikuwa mwenzetu alikuwa ni ayana bunduki anataka ku kulikuwa na hii hii umba mwitu so alikuwa anakula wild beast nyingine yenye meumia miguu so u driver akasema nani anajua kuendesha gari ndio at least ya shoot hizi umba mwitu so tukakosa in fact hapo nikafikiria nikasema kwani sijaribu hiki kitu their days start early and while other typical rangers would set out with a rifle in hand these women go patrolling Kenya's wild with nothing but a notebook pen and a pair of binoculars. Kikaribia mnyama atakimbia obvious. Obvious atakimbia sababu uko na ile fear maybe ni poche zama nini lakini ile sasa ukienda patrols kwa pori unakuta hata mkienda kukutana nao wana grace tu vizuri au ile hawakimbi unajua wako wako safe so ile unajua since the team is drawn from the community they work in, getting intel on poachers is a piece of cake. They are also respected and feared by locals in equal measure. Yeah, you're not to collect information. It's totally different. 
venye wanaume mm-hmm. maybe wakaenda kwa mm-hmm. field venye akabwa tunataka this kind of information like for example mm-hmm. kama ni community kuna certain information ambayo inatakiwa tunaenda hapo tunawa approach tuna, tunatumia let me say soft power uh, having an all female uh, ranger team means that they are able to respond to the needs of those uh, uh, first encounters easily as opposed to to reaching out to men the women who are most affected by conflict will likely talk to another female who can understand their predicament from a female perspective they demonstrate what their reaction is when accosted by a dangerous animal and how to fend it off without needing a lethal weapon unajua pia wanyama sengine unaweza pata wengine ni aggressive so ile ule vile uta utajilinda pia wewe pia ukuwe safe so kuna tu hiyo hatuko amdi lakini tuko na hizo trainings tactics ya vile unaweza epukana nazo so far is to say women taking on duties that were a preserve of men and excelling has been welcomed by those keen to preserve their natural heritage a lot of their technical skills has been learned courtesy of ifao and other partners keen on wildlife conservation nasikia vizuri kwa sababu hiyo kazi ilikuja kwanza kama ni wanaume wanafanya So tumefurahi sana tuliposhikwa mkono pia sisi tunaweza fanya tena vizuri sana kuliko wanaume. Far from the women using technical know-how, they bring on board soft skills that help them handle conflict situations. Our reason to take Team Lion is first of all is to break barriers because this is a very male-led uh, profession but it's also a male-led uh, community. So we are looking at those two things so break those barriers. Uh, but uh, the other thing is that uh, the women are very highly educated um, which is a very good attribute because they can learn other skills we need technology nowadays uh, to be able to protect wildlife so that's very very important kuna uraisi fulani imekuwa rahisi kupata information kwa sababu unajua kwa community wanawake ndio wanaenda kutoa kuni wanawake ndio wanaenda maji so a lot of information inatoka kwa wanawake so sasa hii tumekuwa friendly na wale wanawake wenzetu kwa sababu kuja kuniadhidhia mimi kwake imekuwa rahisi si kitu yenye kwa sababu wakati ile akiona kwenda kumwambia mwanaume anaona kama atachapwa lakini kwa sasa kwa sababu sisi sisi tume yani tumekuwa sisi ni wanawake pale na wanaona tuko watoto wao wanatujua sisi tumetoka wapi imekuwa rahisi sana kupata information so kazi sasa hii imekuwa very easy After a long day in the sun, the women gather to deliberate on the work of the day and their accomplishments. They also work shoulder to shoulder with their male counterparts and are not a burden. Far from conservation, their work has had ripple effects in the community, inspiring more women to pull themselves up by their bootstraps and get to work in the world of conservation. Trix Ingado, KTN News. Kenyan Sports Federation's federations encouraged to focus 